these wins because if you, you look down their schedule, they got some tough matchups coming up. You got to be able to secure a win right here in the opener. Yeah, I am excited about this matchup, Coltrane. Both of these guys, too, need to get off to a fast start here in Ultimate League. We talked about it earlier. They're both underdogs coming into this tournament. Starting your season off at 1-0 is a big deal. Well, it's not only about the matchups, but it's also about the playbooks. What's Tweez going to be running against? Yeah, for Tweez, you got him in the West Coast offense. And for Chaos, he'll be running that multiple defensive playbook. So he's got some options to be able to face this Tweez offense. Both these guys probably don't know. It's been so long what they're going to come out with. So many changes throughout the year, tunings and patches. It's going to be interesting to see what both these guys have. Yeah, and something that you want to note on Tweed is he runs a unique style type of offense. It's more of a single back look instead of shotgun, and he runs a spread offense instead of a bunch offense, which you see a lot of players like Skimbo and Safa and Ghost running that, you know, the bunch, bunch type stuff. Tweed is the opposite. It's a lot of single back spread, and it's a unique type of game plan. It's going to be interesting, though, to see if he can execute that game plan in Ultimate Team. It was very effective in salary cap, but Ultimate Team's a whole other animal. First and ten. They hand it off to Henry. And he has some space out to the 31. A strong close right there by Tweez. Staying under center. And that Derrick Henry has been problems. Got a massive truck stick, and he's hard to bring down. Yeah, and that's big for Tweez. He had some of his guys like Shift God Cole, I'm Wild, Bam, Merck stuff. Some of these guys that were more familiar with much salary cap, flying them in some of those key players that you might want to implement on your roster. Derrick Henry, not a bad choice. So second and two now. Up the gut. First down and more. Ooh. Still on his feet. Finally brought down at the 41. Early good stick work, too, by Tweeds. You saw that truck stick. That's him going up, waiting for the defender right here. Flicks up on the right stick. Boom! Get out of my way! And you're going to see a lot of that from these players. They got good stick skills when it comes to those ball carrier moves. That was Von Miller who got in the way. A tier 4 version of Von, Von Miller. Even he catches the truck stick. Even he falls mercy to the Henry. The Henry truck. A little play action. Cunningham he steps up, rip. going deep, and it's going to be picked off. And Chaos will take over at the 29-yard line as Adrian Amos with a big pick. Look at Tweez. He just couldn't get enough throw power on this. Under throws his receiver. Big user pick right there by Chaos. Takes the momentum. Tweez was looking good running the ball. Tries to make Chaos respect the pass, and Tweez looking around like he don't know what hit him. He had the option to start Deshaun Watson, but went with Randall Cunningham. And maybe that's a play that's just not open. You know, maybe Michael Vick has the throw power to make that throw, but that's, that's a tough throw at that point, especially into triple coverage. Yeah, and you got to think, how much has Tweez been able to practice with his team? Again, he's new to salary cap. When he's playing regs, he's probably let that route, route rip hundreds and thousands of times. This is a whole other animal. Different game, different speed, different guys to watch for in that secondary that can make plays. Usually when you're playing regular Madden, you might have one, maybe two guys out there that can cause you trouble in the secondary. When you're paying salary cap, most likely you're facing three or four guys back there. Let's get an update from Dave and Rico. Thanks, guys. We've got a lot of defense early going on here. True taking on Musafa. Drew Boy playing some really, really nice user right there. Taking this pick all the way back to the house. Puts on his high horse, goes ahead and gets it. Unfor unfortunately, got the touchdown, but then right afterwards gets the extra point blocked by Musafa. It is 6-0 here mid-first quarter. Appreciate it, gentlemen. Six to nothing. A tie game over here in the first with 3.15 to go. Chaos has already moved it out to the 41. See what Tweez can do on defense. The thing that's going to be interesting here is Tweez is known for being a good defensive player, 
And in Madden's salary cap, he's able to have a stronger defense than he has in reg teams. So this could be a problem for his opponents as you see him land a hit stick early on already. Marcus Mariota. You hear it both ways. Mariota, Mariota. We could debate that for about two or three minutes alone, but <laughs> and we'll we're going to go with Mariota. And we'll be and seeing have to be plenty cool of with them. <laughs> yeah, plenty we of them in this tournament. He's on a lot of rosters. Yeah, that Snow Beast version. Second and seven. He's in a 3-4 look right here. Little motion across the formation. See if he can get points off this turnover. Quick throw. There's Pruitt. And Pruitt's now in plus territory at the 44. Yeah, and that's a good route combination by Chaos. You see it a lot in real life, and you're going to see it a lot in competitive Madden. Two drag routes, two crossing routes going across the field. Buy some time. Wait for one of them to get open. The user can only guard one of them. Usually as long as you make the right read, you can get a completion without route combination. Hand off. Not much there. Maybe got two. Trying to take a look here at Chaos's roster. Not a lot of... Not a lot of speed at the receiver position with guys like Jarvis Landry, Evan Ingram out there. Second and nine now. Mariota in the flats once again. That'll move it to the 36, so he's going to have a third and short. Preacher. That's a good route by Chaos. We've seen him throw that a lot where he's attacking the flats, but he's catching it in perfect stride, trying, trying to turn the ball upfield. Those are good plays because they're low risk. High reward if you can pull it off. You just got to avoid the big hit. Third and two. Little wow. delay. That's going to bring up a fourth down. Look at Tweez. He's all business. That was good stick work by the young Grizzly Coltrane make chaos kick a field goal here he shot that gap and hit stick them he might have missed he might have missed this kick kick is up and it will drift toward the center you saw the missed accuracy but that way it kind of worked to his advantage yeah he got away with one he was way outside that accuracy window and sometimes madden's forgiving and it lets you get that field goal sometimes you'll shank it chaos very fortunate right there so three to nothing 62 seconds to go here in the first. I'm just going to put it out there. I would love to see it in the future where if you're outside that accuracy window, we just don't even forgive you. You're just going to have to take it, miss the field goal. I mean, that, that's a place you got to show some stick skills. Sometimes online it could be a little difficult. Especially when it comes down to points. You want to be able to earn it. Let's take a look here at both games simultaneously. We got 3 nothing here between... Chaos and Tweez. And on the other side, we had a touchdown for True Boy. Let's go. He's going to have the opportunity to either go up 13 or 14, depending on what he does, and he's going to kick the extra point. So a hot start over there, RG, for True. Yeah, and True, he doesn't get as much credit as he deserves. He's one of the most consistent players we've had on the MCS the last two years. And when you talk about all the big names, he doesn't feel like his name comes up enough, even though he has as much credentials as almost anybody. And if he could win the Madden Ultimate League and finally get that belt under him, that's when he's just going to take his status in, in the Madden world to a whole nother level. But to me, a very underrated player. Back here between Chaos and Tweez. Second drive, he's going to lob it up top and Hill. How can he overthrow one of the fastest players in the game? But he does it here, and that cost him six. What happens when you get that over-the-shoulder animation, Scott, is your guy's not big enough to get to the ball. Hey, if you had a taller guy. receiver yeah. like a Moss or somebody, not saying he'll never miss those, there's a better chance he can get his hands on it. Hill can get by you, but his wingspan's not going to be good enough to always secure that ball on that deep rack. So instead of a touchdown, he's got a third and 17. Cunningham throws oh. it to the outside. Once again, overthrows, and here comes a fourth down. 
He's 0 for 3 with Cunningham. But poor Tweez. I mean, he's a good dodge. He had the streak wide open for a touchdown, just couldn't execute it. The out route broke open, couldn't get a good throw by Cunningham. He's going to have to punt the rock, I think. He's going. He's going, Cole. The young Grizzly. Three-point game. Ball at his own 16 with 22 seconds left here in the first quarter. You got to watch the smart routed out routes. That means it's out routes going to that first down marker. Doesn't have enough time, and it's a turnover on downs. And I love this defensive call by Chaos. You want a smart route, some outs? I'm going to send the dogs. There's no time to get to the first down marker. Way to turn up on defense for young Chaos. So first and ten, and as, as he takes over in the red zone, and he'll get one. Second and eight. In this situation, if I'm Chaos Coltrane, I like to get more aggressive. A field goal still makes it a one-possession ball game. You just got Tweets to turn the ball over on fourth down. This is where it won't hurt you to take a shot, try to get a touchdown, and make it two possessions. A turnover doesn't kill you in this situation. So three nothing there at the end of the first quarter. Here on the other side, it's now 20 to nothing as Safa and Struggleville with 56 seconds left here in the first, RG. Yeah, Eli K Clayton, a.k.a. Young True Boy, representing Top Madden, going up against EMB's Young Musafa, who's been one of the hottest players on the circuit. But I'll tell you what, early on in these tournaments, True Boy has always been hell to deal with. I don't think we've ever seen him have an early exit. And you can expect to ha see him have a good regular season. I will say Safa's offense is high-powered enough to get him back into this game, though. It's still early. It's only the first quarter. This is how he got it done. It was just a corner route that Richardson rolled into the end zone. That's what made it 20 to nothing. And there's Leonard Fournette. Got free for a moment. And maybe this is a spark that gets Safa going. That was a hot one by True on that mountain route, though. And then Richardson selling out, putting his life on the line. It's a good off offensive play. After the 23-yard gain by Fournette, he goes on the ground, trucks his way to the 33. Yeah, and look how good these guys are at trucking those defenders. We've already seen it several times today. And if you're at home and, you, you know, you're trying to get into Madden, go and get one of those beast backs. Find you a Marshawn Lynch. Go into practice mode and get your timing right. Getting ready to truck the ball. Oh, no. You know what that was. Yeah, so we're going to have a stoppage in play over on this side in the waning seconds of the quarter. 20 to nothing between True and Musafa, and it's 3 to nothing between Chaos and Tweez. So the start of the second quarter now between Chaos and Tweez, just a field goal game, but after the turnover on downs, Chaos has a second and eight inside his own red zone. This is a chance for him to go up two scores with a touchdown. Yeah, and like I told you, I'm, I'm Chaos. This is a time to get aggressive. You don't need to get too conservative here. It's worth it to go for all the momentum and get the touchdown and make this a two-score ball game. If you're at home and you ever find yourself in this situation, this is where you really can open it up. Patience once again, four for four. Now in the passing game. And that's going to bring up a third and short at the seven. Impressive by chaos so far, too. Full-time student going through a college basketball season. Makes time to be able to compete at the highest level. In the Ultimate League, making some cash. Yeah, getting some serious playing time over at the, with Coppin State. If you don't know, that's right there in Baltimore. The Eagles. Coached by Juan Dixon, yep. all-time leading scorer at Maryland. Said that's who recruited him over there. He's actually good friends with Juan Dixon. Juan Dixon actually watches his Madden streams and stuff. So he's got to settle for a field goal. Six to nothing now. Here's the start of the second quarter. 
And with everything that's gone wrong for Tweez thus far, he has a chance right now on this drive to take the lead. Yeah, I was just thinking that same thing, Coltrane. If he can get an offensive drive together here, get himself a touchdown, take the lead, be in a good spot. Let's check in on this other game as Safa has found himself in the red zone, trailing by 20. And he hands it off to Fournette. Say his knee went down at the two-yard line. So second and goal from the two. Got to get seven here. I just love when we do this, Coltrane. Little red zone action. Show us where it's going down. Goes back to the big fella. Not much there. And so now you got a third down. True Boy's always had great run defense. He took the words right out of my mouth. We call this holding the door on the goal line. And True Boy's a holdor himself. We've seen him get stingy and hold the door in this situation many times. So third and goal from the two. Here comes some motion. Back to Fournette. Yeah. Made the first guy miss. And now you got a decision to make. And I think you got to go for it. Yeah, he's going to go for this down 20 nothing. In the first half, this is where you really need to start getting momentum if you're Safa. If he can get in, get a touchdown, get a stop, put yourself in a position to get right back in the ball game. But it all starts here, Cole. Telvin Smith on the tackle. Now he had a fourth down at the one. He might pass. Just because True's been so stingy on, on the run. And he's going to use a timeout here. Has one remaining with 237 in the half. I mentioned before, down by three scores. It was all true boy in that first quarter. Yeah, and Fiersafa, these are the type of plays you'd need to make to get back in this ball game. Not converting on fourth and one has always been a great way to lose John Madden football games. Look at the focus of young True, though. He looks like he means business, Cole. Of course, True Boy can just get in the car, drive over to the studio, Safa, and catch a plane in Atlanta to get over here. This is big. And now he's got a big fourth and goal from the one. Off tackle, probably. Wow! Reading in there with the tackle. Hold it on! Hold it on! He's been known to do that every now and then, and it's not fluke. This is stuff that True Boy practices. It's in his arsenal. And way to just blow it up with the legend Larry Wilson. Look at him. Hold the door. He knows he did it. There you go, True. Well, now he's got to try to get out of his own end there. Hands it off to Gurley. Gurley tried to spin. They say he's going to pick up a yard, maybe a half a yard, second and ten. If you're Safa, you need to try to get, you can't let True put a drive together here. You need to either get a turnover or ideally a punt with enough time left in this half to put a possession together. Could be difficult for him, though. He only has one timeout left. So second and ten from the six. He's going to take this all the way down to the two-minute warning. But what a defensive stop by True. Holding out Musafa. 20 to nothing. True rocking his Jags uniforms, too. You remember yeah, last year he was the Jaguars club champion. Went over to Jacksonville, took care of business, represented the Jaguars in the club championship. This year represented the Bengals. Looks like he's back on them Jags, though. Yeah, I'm wild. Ended up being the champion for the Jags. We were down there on a game day when they were playing the Seattle Seahawks. Third and three. That was a good day, Scott. Cold one. Cold one in Jags. Cold one, but a fun day of Madden, huh? Absolutely. All these events we get to do. All the people we got to meet, you just you gotta love competitive Madden and where it's going. Third and three from the 13. Ooh, good what spin. is spin move by Gurley? And that'll get a new set of downs. And that's gonna be a theme throughout this tournament. You're gonna see True Boy make some highlight real plays. His stick work is nasty like that. You see that AI defender trying to track him down? Whoopsie, little spin move. And he's known to do that. That's not fluke. Steve Young, the lefty, will just throw it away. That'll bring up a second and 10 with 108 to go before the half. If you're true to 
I'm, I'm okay continuing to run this ball and just do what I need to do to make sure Safa does not sniff it again before the end of this first half. Hands it off inside uh -oh. to Gurley, gets uh -oh. to the edge, has some space. Should be a th first down at the 35. Guys, what's going on with Chaos and Tweez? Guys, more defense going on over here. A huge fourth down stop for Chaos to maintain his lead. 6-0 over Tweez getting to the end of the first half. Wow. 20 to nothing over here. And let me tell you why this is a big game for True. It's because he's got Problem and Dubby coming up next. <laughs> so <laughs> getting off to a, a good start here against Safa was key for True Boy. Yeah, Dubby, a former belt winner. And that's a good time to mention. We have eight belt winners in the MCS era. Five of those belt winners are in this Ultimate League. So you're in with the, the best of the best once you make Ultimate League. Throws it away again. Still has one timeout for both of these guys. Second and 10 at the 47. I like Safa's body language right there. Down 20 nothing. He's still, still vibing, still bobbing, still looks locked in. Well, that's Focus. the unique thing about the Ultimate League. As True will use his final timeout with 20... Seven seconds to go on a third and two. Is it's not group stage. It's not single elimination. I mean, you can lose your first four and go on a run and make the playoffs. So you can't let one win ruin your or even one loss ruin your season. Yeah, that's true. But you also can't get complacent because this is the first time we ever done this. For <laughs> all we know, that one win's gonna be our even point differential anything sure. could determine who's going to make the playoffs who's not big sack right there or who's going to get a bye later in the playoffs which is a big deal and safa lit about three seconds run off take a look at the sack again he could have called a timeout boom right there at the with 20 seconds left in the half he let four ticks run down so fourth and 17 clock stopped with 16 seconds left in the half what he probably wanted to do there scott as he was thinking about it, he's like, do I even want to call timeout and <laughs> risk trying to make something happen with 16 seconds? Because you start chucking it around, you can throw a pick six, sack, fumble. If you're suffering, you don't want to put yourself in any more of a deficit. So running the ball and just getting out of this half is a real option. So with 11 seconds, it's 20 to nothing over here on this side. Let's check in with Chaos and Tweez. Really been in a nail-biter, a low-scoring game. And we mentioned these guys having success early in the year. We didn't know what their offense would look like here in their first game. Well, I'll tell you a story about Tweezers. We go to dinner last night. And I say, hey, Tweezers, you want to come along? He said, nah, gee, I'm cool, and I got to hit the lab. So I'm like, that's good. You're skipping dinner, free spluce. Yeah. A free spluce <laughs> meal. I mean, you, you skipped that to hit the lab. It's very admirable. So then we ask him today, Tweezers, how did the lab session go? He said, gee. I fell asleep, man. He said, he said Bam is left. Oh. I left him, but it doesn't matter. Who needs to laugh when you got stick work? Use a work. Tweez back in the building on his horse. Mariota can't, will. Stops him at the one. Wow. Right when I'm giving him a hard time for falling asleep instead of lifting the virtual weights. Tweez says, remember, my stick works world class. There's that crossing route combo. He picks correctly. Use alert. Wow. Tries to sneak it on first down. Chaos will use a timeout. And we're going to see a couple more QB sneaks until he gets in there. I mean, he's on the half yard line right now. Chaos is hurting. His body language looks frustrated. And Tweezy, I mean, we've seen him before. He's a fighter. It's going to take a lot to put him down and out. He is going to fight this entire tournament. And he gets in. <laughs> Look at the young Grizzly. So a terrible half of offense for Tweez, But after the big interception, able to punch it in. And now he's got a one-point lead with 107 to go here in the half. And that's what I told you. Though Tweez's offense might be harder to run in salary cap, I feel like his defense is going to flourish because he's going to have better players than he's used to having. The chaos is going to have to be careful in this minute 07 
to now let Tweez make another play on the defense end of the ball. Short kick, room to run. And I don't know about, you're almost better kicking it out of bounds there than that short kick that set up a nice return. He's going to have it at the 47. You saw the yeah. QB sneak there that put him in the lead. One thing about kicking it off in salary cap is the bench players, your special teams players, are usually so low overall because you tank those positions to save cap. But then they get out there on special teams and they'll leave you susceptible to that big play. Rolling, looking, throwing. Good pass. And hauled in at the 29. He's 8 for 9 with that one interception. So he's completed all his passes. But the one he completed to the man in the Chargers uniforms has been detrimental. That was a good pass, though, from Ken Oslander, a.k.a. Chaos, 22 years old, hurned on VA, representing Virginia. And that was a huge sack, loss of nine that pushes him out of field goal range. So back-to-back -back times, he's been in plus territory. Here with the sack and before with the interception. This is where he needs to be careful. Let's run. Able to pick up a few to the 35. Dan Bailey is his kicker. I like the run call right there. Just get back in the field goal range. Worry about getting points right here and taking the lead before the end of the half. Of course, he's also got a couple more kickers on his roster. Not entirely sure of who he started. With 4th and 12 at the 31, it's going to be a 48-yarder. Justin Tucker. Should be good money. That's good money, unless it gets blocked. He's got to watch out for the block kick from Tweez. We've seen Tweez block kicks before. Doesn't get the animation. It's up, and it's good. And as time expires before the half, 9-7. Chaos able to answer with a field goal and take the lead at the half. Yeah, that, that's poise from Chaos. You throw the pick six, your defense is playing phenomenal. A great way to throw away games when your defense is playing phenomenal is to give up points on offense, but then he's able to regroup, put a drive together before half, and get himself a three to get the lead back. It's good John Madden football all around by both those competitors. That's a tough game going on right there. So here at the half, nine to seven between Chaos and Tweez. And then 20 to nothing between True and Musafa Jones. So the start of the third quarter, it's nine to seven. It was a big interception by Tweez that led to his touchdown, but Chaos with a last-second field goal before the half, and then it's been all true boy in the game between him and Musafa Jones. Yeah, good ball game up there with the chaos Tweez game. Musafa Jones, he has a high-powered offense, but the problem for him is True's run game is so elusive and so good. You're going to think that True's going to be able to just kill that clock away and protect that 20-point lead. But you never know what could happen in a game of John Madden football, Scott. The guys that have a strong run game, true boy, problem. Don't ever want to give them a big lead because they'll just milk it away on you. Yeah, take we, the dub. And we've seen some of our better players have trouble in those situations. You got Skimbo's the number one player in the world, but his offense is so pass heavy, he only really runs that halfback draw. We've seen it be harder for him to kill those games and milk the clock out once he has that big lead. Mariota, once again to the side, Pruitt's got room to run. Out to the 41, plus territory. Nine of ten in the passing game for Chaos. That one incomplete pass, the interception, pick six. Responsible for all the tweezes points on that scoreboard. Yeah, took it all the way back to the one, punched it in, and then the extra point gave him the lead. Chaos able to get his third field goal of the first half. And starts the second half with the ball. And he's 
almost back down there. I would say with Justin Tucker, he is in field goal range. Yeah, but the field goal isn't what you want, obviously. The touchdown is big here, Scott, because that makes it nine possession ball game, which makes it two scores. And two scores when you're only playing five minute quarters is a big deal. That's exactly where you want to be. So it's a big drive right now. Especially with Tweez struggling on offense. In the first half, Tweez underthrew a guy that was open for a touchdown. And then he overthrew a guy that was over for a touchdown. And this run game, Chaos doing a nice job mixing it up, RG. But that is good news for Tweeds if you're on offense. You're getting your guys open, and you got to think eventually he's going to be able to execute. Spins to the 28 for Breda. Yeah, and this trips tight end formation is tough formation. This has been a staple in competitive Madden for a long time before all that gun bunch stuff. That inside zone to the running back is really hard because you could run it right up the middle or bounce it out to the left with those three wide receivers blocking. And you're also in 11 personnel with plenty of speed out there, so there's plenty of good pass options out of this formation as well. Once again to the flats, playing very safe. Surpassed a... 100 yards through the air, but that's on 11 completions. Third and nine. It's a big play right here for Chaos. He needs to watch out for Tweez's lurk. That's the user defender that Tweez is controlling on defense. He's got that left, the linebacker on the left of your screen. That's who Tweez is controlling. Needs to get just past the 20 for a new set of downs. Sack. And he gets sacked, and that's going to push him. Maybe beyond the edge of field goal range, but we mentioned he has Justin Tucker. Look at it again, screaming in. And this is going to force a 54-yard field goal for Tucker. Pick the perfect. And just over the bar. And he's got 12 points all on field goals. And a five-point lead over Tweeds. This is going to be a defining drive in this game, Scott. And Tweed finally put the offensive drive together and show us he can get points with this offense. Start at the 23. It's been a rough game for him and Randall Cunningham. But you mentioned all he needs is one time. One time to connect. Chaos in those Steelers uniforms. Tweed's in the Chargers uniforms. Obviously not playing with the real Steelers and Chargers teams, though. Much salary cap where you assemble your own roster. Current superstars, former NFL legends. First and five after the movement. 2.29 to go here in the third. He'll run it to Henry. Henry gets a good block. Oh. And trucks it out to the 36. That's a New set of downs. Look at this again. Look at this saving tackle right here. By the, can't see what linebacker that is, but just gets in the way, causes traffic. Causes Henry to fall after that truck, or he would have been on his horse to the cripple. Duke Riley, the outside linebacker, made the stop. The Cunningham! Right, please. No! Throw! Oh, it is going to be picked off! Tip. And that's Amos again. Oh, Tweez is just too happy with this deep ball. And overthrew it once. This time, this is a second underthrow of the game on this route. And Amos just bobbles it around but comes down with it. Thought that 504 was the area code. I guess that's how many interceptions he might throw this season. Not a good start. <laughs> Savage over there, huh? It's not big. That's not open. It's and salary not. cap, that's not open, it's, RG. It's not, and it's because you got those better defenders out there. Legends like Ronnie Lott, Ed Reed. Of course, when you get a powered up Amos with all that speed, he can make plays. Second and five. Yeah, when you say power up in Ultimate Team, that's when Adrian Amos, the game comes out, and you know, he's got his base version in Ultimate Team. He's probably an 85 overall or whatnot. But as the year goes on and he starts making progress, new items and new power-ups come out with them that'll let you use an Amos that's about a 94 overall with a lot more speed, a lot more tackling. And that's the best Amos in the business, that power-up tier five. 
First and 10 at the 23. 12 to 7 here. What's going on in the other game? Guys, it is getting ugly over here. True Boy scoring again. Rico, these points are going to matter later on in the season. It's a long season, and point differential is one of the tiebreakers. So, what do you do when you see a man drowning? Throw water on him. That's right. 27 0, less than a minute to go in the third. They talk about that, you know, putting up the points. It's, it's not to be disrespectful over there. It's because you never know what's going to happen later on in the season. You might have wished you. What a ran up the score. Yeah, it could save you. What will happen later on, Scott, is if you're tied at the end of the regular season, and we're trying to see who's going to... Oh, the it's ball's out! Ball. The ball's out! Twist needs it! And he got it! Oh! Big play! We're trying to talk about point differential, and Tweez is out here landing hit sticks. Use the fumbles, look at him, punch him in the mouth. And then somehow recovers this. Real quick, Scott, the point I was trying to make, when it comes to point differential, if they're tied at the end of the regular season and we're trying to see who goes into the playoffs, it comes down to your head-to-head -head record, and if your head-to-head -head record's tied, that's when it'll come down to the point differential. That's a real thing that could happen. So there's not many bad blood that we know of Ooh. between True and Safa. That's his first completion of the game, and it's down to the five. He's one for ten, RG. One for ten, and the young Grizzly's still fighting. I've always liked Tweez's spunk, Coltrane. He doesn't give up, doesn't complain much. Not sure that one was open either, but goes for a completion, and Henry spins down to the three. You're playing completely awful, and you're about to take the lead. Making plays on defense. Hand it off, and Henry, no. There's Amos again, this time in the running game, making plays. Get chaos, though. How stingy is his defense, huh? This whole thing needs to just not turn it over on offense. I mean, hasn't given up any points yet, even standing up for himself on the goal line. Impressive. So at the end of the third over there, we have a tight one between chaos and Tweez. Tweez knocking on the door. So 12 to 7 here at the end of the third between Chaos and Tweez. True and Musafa and a 27 to nothing. Start of the fourth quarter and a tight one in these guys' first game between Chaos and Tweez. The first of 10 matchups. They'll face each other again down the road. And let's be honest, it's getting out of control there between True and Musafa as they also head into the fourth. The True Boys headshot too, swagged up with the shades on. It's got to be feeling good. So Musafa will be facing Dubby and Problem next. So he's going to have to regroup as he moves into his second and third games. Here between Tweez and Chaos, this is an important game. See who's going to get off to a good start. And we've heard Rico talk about it. One of Chaos's Achilles heels is he's been able to not keep his emotions in check several times throughout the tournament. If he was able, to, if he was to play this good on defense and somehow found a way to lose this game, I don't know what that would do for his morale in this season going forward. I'm getting ahead of ourselves here. He's still up five. Needs Playing four yards right defense. here to start the quarter. It's going to go to the air. Good pocket Cunningham. Presence. Good pocket presence. So much spying going on that he can't. Life on the line. You got to go for it. Oh, my goodness. He had double spy there. Was able to get out to the left. You see those spies. I'm just waiting for the John Elway Super Bowl animation where he tried to dive in, spun into the end zone. That was good pocket and scramble by Tweez. Could have fumbled, though, on the hit. And this is it, Cole. This is big. Goal line formation. Pitch it to the outside. Gets a block. And Henry spins in and Tweez takes the lead. You only get one stop. That's what he needs. so I agree. And you know what, though? That's it. Look at him. He's taking the, the, the blame on himself. He knows yeah. he could be playing better, but he's keeping his head. Oh, stop it! Go! That was Go dirty! Two. Go. That was dirty! Come on! Sticky, icky, ooh-wee! You can't say you're playing horrible and then get nasty like that. <laughs>
death, Weez. That was sick. Shout out to Bam, man. Let's go. Shouting out his lab partner, Bam. AKA scheming. I need a replay on that at some point. That was nasty. So it's a three-point game as Chaos will work from the 31-yard line. Look at it again. This is what got him the touchdown. Gave him the lead. And then to make it a three-point game, ooh. Oh, the patience getting his Le'Veon Bell. Le'Veon Bell on. Good stick work. I always like when I see these guys do stuff that I feel like I have no chance of doing on the sticks. Three-point game here in the fourth. And Breda. With a nice run, it's going to be second at inches. So a gain of nine on first down. Got ourselves a good game here. Week one, chaos first, Tweez. These guys are in the Legend Conference Division A. Remember, Joke already has a victory. We got that out at the Super Bowl over Draney. So going to be a tough division for these two guys. But getting off to a win would be huge. It's a good ball game right here, Coltrane. Chaos needs to respond on this offensive drive. He's yet to go down, get himself a touchdown with this offense. Well, a field goal <laughs> would tie it. At least that's the good news. Landry, cross midfield to so a three-point game here. Guys, what's going on? Well, Usafa is still not getting the offense going, but for the second time today, he blocks a kick. This time it is a field goal, not an extra point. All the way back to the crib. 27 to seven in the fourth quarter. Getting that point differential just a little bit closer. Don't call it a comeback, this is probably not. <laughs> yeah, that's a tall mountain to climb over in that one, a 20 point lead. The lead's three here. Yeah, we got plenty of action over here though. That'll move it down to the 39, first and 10. And now you gotta start thinking. I need to use a little clock, inch myself closer and closer, because a touchdown can win it. Yeah, and if you're chaos, you've been playing so good on defense. You gotta feel like if you can go down here, get a touchdown, go for two. Well, you wouldn't even really need a go for two. You just need the touchdown, and then that would force Tweez to need a touchdown. But the way your defense has been playing, you gotta feel good about it. Second and 11. Or like you said, if he's prolific enough to just kill this whole 240 score with no time left. Either way, this is an important drive. This is a guap drive. Yeah, this is the game right here. Second and 11 at the 41, just out of field goal range. Well, he does still have his three timeouts goal, so if he was to turn the ball over, he would have one more chance to stop Tweez from getting some first downs. And there is Goodwin. 15 of 16 for Mariota. It's just been all field goals for Chaos. This is a frustrating feeling. You feel like you're outplaying your opponent. You're passing the ball well. But it's just the little things that, that aren't happening. Not scoring touchdowns, giving up big plays on offense, the pick six. There's a certain things that you could do that make it a great way to lose Madden games. And unfortunately, Chaos has done a little bit of that. But he's still, he's still right in this. I mean, a lot of players, this is the position you want to be in with the ball in your hands with a chance to take the lead in the fourth quarter. It gets blown up here at the two-minute warning. So clock on the move, fourth and five. Look at this again. Boom. Boom. Make it a little bit of a harder field goal attempt right here. 52-yarder for Justin Tucker. Good accuracy again. And he'll kick it through. We're tied at 15. Five field goals for Chaos. This is going to be cool. Is it going to come down to Tweezy, who's had some janky offense so far this game? Chaos has been playing lights out defense. It's going to be a battle of wills right here. And he'll bring it out of his own end zone. Spin his way to the 25. What's going on in the uh, the other game, guys? Well, guys, True Boy felt a little disrespected before this one started about his standing in the community. He has answered those questions, scoring yet again. He is up 34-7 as the clock winds down on this one. Big win for True Boy to kick off this Ultimate League. Yeah, doing it in a dominant fashion. Henry will get to the 32. 
tweets. I'm telling you, he's in a different type of offense. Just a lot of this single back spread, strong, close, pounding the rock. He's playing old man football right now, Scott. Back to Henry. It's two more yards. Third and one. This is a big play. This is a huge play. Chaos can stop him here and make a make him think about going for it on fourth down deep in his own territory. Come on, let's go. Gotta watch. Don't get in love with the deep ball. Good run. No. Henry. No. Gonna lose two yards, and now you got a decision to make. Are we gonna see a last second field goal from Chaos? If he kicks six field goals in this one. We might have to get Donnie Moore to look through the archives. That's could be a record. <laughs> this is it. This is a big play. Tweet quick. Going for it. Throws it low, and Bo Jackson hauls it in at the 48. Just his second completion of the game. With ice in his veins, the young Grizzly comes to the line of scrimmage, snaps the ball, gives Chaos minimal time to set. Slangs it up the seam for the big first down. Henry powers it to the 44. And what Tweez is doing in this game, Coltrane, is he's just making the plays when he needs to make them. He's being a real playmaker. Needs to get to probably about the 33-yard line. Needs another 11 yards or so. Second and two, back to the power game. That'll move the chains at the 41, and he'll use his second timeout. Tweez says on our roster, he's got the Matt Prater, 92 overall. So he's got some lag on that special teams. Tie game, 15-15. About as unorthodox as they come. Yeah, Tweez with that 504 hat, the New Orleans native. There you see Chaos. Current college basketball player from Virginia. And a gritty match here in week one. 33 seconds left in this one. Opening game for both of these guys in the Madden Ultimate League. Tweeds is getting short on time. He only has one timeout. The clock's ticking. 26 seconds left. Good defense right there by Chaos. This is coming down to the nitty gritty, Scott. Clock on the move. He has one timeout left. 20 seconds left in the game. Cunningham. Oh no! Throws it low and Hill scoops it off the turf. Wow, it didn't look open at all. Tweez with a low throw possession catch. Back shoulder type stuff right underneath the corner to get himself in field goal range. That was huge. Chaos will use a timeout. Seven seconds left in this one. Ball at the 33. It's a third and one. He's going to off tackle right here. Maybe to the left side, try to get himself more to the center of the field. He can't lose any yards there. He's Every yard matters. Yeah, absolutely. One commit. Didn't get much. And he'll use a timeout with two seconds to go. Fourth and two. This field goal. Could win the game for Tweez. What a ball game. Tweez has made play after play when he's needed to. Despite Chaos having the majority of the momentum this game, he's going to try to ice him. So Chaos will use his final timeout in the attempt to make it difficult, but Prater ain't having it. He needs all of it here. A 50-yarder to oh. win it. Uh-oh. You see, he missed the accuracy bar. Could be heading for overtime, and we are. It goes to the left. Oh, just take a deep breath, Scott. <laughs> we got more action. What a ball game in week one. Tweez has come up time after time again in this game. Has a chance to make the clutch kick and shanks it. Saw Chaos get away with one of those earlier. Pushed it well to the left, and now it's overtime. Oh, no! Getting he's on his free. horse! Oh. Couldn't get to the outside, and he'll start his drive from the 36. 
Just a reminder, overtime rules in the NFL. And there, there was the reaction of missing the kick, and Chaos loved it. Pretty much sums it up. As I was saying, overtime rules, you go down and score a touchdown here, and it's over. Blocked from Bo Jackson, and Henry cuts it back. So he's in field goal range at the 28. And like you said, he needs a touchdown to end this game right now, Scott. Field goal gives Chaos a chance to get the ball back and respond. It's a big run right there, though, by Tweez. Goes back to it. Henry this time. He either picks up 10 or he loses two. But he's willing to stick to his game plan, and that's important, Cole. The best players, they're, they're not worried about what anyone else is doing or getting out of it, getting rattled. They know what they want to do, and they're going to try to impose their will. Cunningham almost took a sack. He's 3 of 13. And it, for the rest of the field, that's got to be scary. A guy can go 3 of 13. Limited offense and still be in a position to win this game. Chaos has been fighting, though. He's been keeping his cool. Things haven't gone his way. He's not laying down for Tweez at all. This is a hell game, Scott. This gets so stingy down here. And in overtime, you know, we've seen a lot of different overtimes, RG. We've seen some where guys come down, one play scored, the game's over. We've, we've also seen a lot of back and forth field goals. That's sort of the way this game has gone. I think it's going to come down to who can make that clutch kick here in overtime. Yeah, absolutely. And this is a big third down. And Weeks Tweez not having a very high-powered offense, been running the ball a lot, finally finds himself in a third and pass situation. Let's see what he's got. Cunningham throws another low one. And Ted Ginn. Of course, Ted Ginn Jr. I don't want you to get confused. That's a good throw. You, you fool me, you know, you fool me once, all right. Twice, shame on me. That's right. That's the second time Tweez has thrown that pass where it looks covered and he just possession catches it behind. You got to think, he's practiced that many of times. That's just not a blind read he's making. A touchdown will win it here in overtime. Second and seven. Cunningham! Oh, it's Paul oh, Jackson! Tweez has won! Look at the emotion of the young Grizzly. Chaos is sick. Tweez wins it in overtime. 21 to 15. Wow. Not that, a bad way to start it off. Not a bad <laughs> way for them to start their week ones. That was good entertaining John Madden football. Tweez has to be feeling good about himself. Chaos. That look says it all. I mean, he's going to have to go and regroup. He played lights out on defense. Had some things not go his way. Kept his cool and lost a tough one. He's going to have to keep it together for the rest of this season. Not to mention Tweez securing an additional $1,000 in that game because it's $1,000 a win, so he can go have some extra fun tonight. So the final here between these guys, 21-15, to 15, Tweez with the fireworks. True boy, Handel and Musafa, 34 to 7. And, and here's the tough thing for Chaos, RG. You lose this one, and you got Joke, Dreeny, and True Boy are your next three games. Well, the problem is your next three games in the Ultimate League are always <laughs> they're always gonna be hell games because there's there's no soft competitors here. But for Tweez and Chaos, both of them being underdogs in this tournament. Yeah. To, in this league, to win that first game is a huge deal. That was a back-and-forth battle. A lot of different things going each other's ways, and Tweez just able to come up big time and time again when he needed to. The young Grizzlies been known to be clutch, but it's good to see him do it in Ultimate Team, and hats off to him. He's one of my favorite players to watch. Well, it wasn't pretty, but he got the job done, and he's standing by with Adrian Lawrence. Tweez, congratulations on your win. That was a very tough, low-scoring game. What made it so difficult to pull away? Um, his defense, and I'm just, I'm playing bad on offense, and I could barely stop him. He got a tough offense. I'm, I, I'm playing nervous, I ain't going to lie. And I noticed in terms of you saying you're playing nervous, you weren't very good in the air in terms of getting completions. You only had your first completion around the close of the third quarter. What are you going to have to do to change it up to stay in the tournament? Um, I think I should run the ball more, you know, and make smarter reads. 
that's that's about it. And you usually you play in regular mode instead of salary cap. How has the adjustment been? It's it's been crazy because I mean, on ultimately you got like ninety five zone, ninety four zone is way different from regs. Way different. It's kind of hard. Well, hopefully you'll be able to tackle it. Best of luck in the rest of the competition. Thank you. Back to you, Dave Enrico.